recently saw the movie called Uncle Drew, and uh, for Christians, I think it's an okay movie. It's uh, got a little bit of risque stuff, material, and, you know, a little bit of sexual innuendo, maybe a little profanity, I don't remember exactly, but not too bad in that regard. Um, it's about basketball, and there's kind of a uh, a kindness um, theme to it as uh, at the uh, ending anyways and um, some of the necessary elements of perseverance and keep trying again even if you fall down it's good for kids in that regard to keep give them uh, hope and encouragement which is something we, uh, of course, emphasize as Christians. We're always trying to encourage one another, our fellow Christians, and as well as uh, non-Christians. And uh, so even though they don't mention God, although they do have a preacher, uh, so-called preacher in the movie, which is kind of comical in a certain way, but... Um, Yeah, so they have a, a, a guy who plays a preacher. And these guys, uh, by the way, are all, not all, but a few of them are NBA basketball players, uh, past or present. One of them, of course, everybody's name knows, Shaquille O'Neal. And, uh, but they're, they're, they're not, they're, they're playing older versions. They're playing like senior citizens. And it's about these older guys, old school guys, taking on younger guys in a local basketball tournament in New York. And then there's a few other parts of the story that get woven in, including a younger guy who's kind of given up on playing basketball because of a bad experience he had, and they give him new hope. These older guys... They call him the young blood. They 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 uh, give him new hope, kind of counsel him, because they know better. They've been around longer. And there's a also an apology for something that happened a long time ago. That's part of the story. And uh, so, uh, in general, decent film. And uh, we, as I always say, pray the movies. Let's pray for others who have lost hope. A lot of people have, even sometimes Christians have. They remain Christian, but they still don't have much hope, and that's really sad. When, when even you don't have enough hope that God can do anything for your life, just all you need is a mustard seed of faith. So uh, keep all that in mind. God be with you all and bless you. And uh, remember to always pray the movie.